All right, the next question is from Jeff. Jeff Haynes, he's from Foley, Alabama. And basically his question is this, if I'm out in the field or I'm on a country hike with my dog or a walk through the park and my dog somehow comes up on a snake and gets bit right in the face, which it happens all the time, what do I do? Okay, well if you're in a city park, you need to take your dog to the vet. Okay, if you're out in the middle of the country somewhere, uh, swimming your dog in a river or training him or doing whatever you're going to do, what do you need to do? Okay, there's two options. Number one option is you load him up and you take him to the vet. Okay, that'd probably be the best thing. That is the best option. Okay, the second option is to have your veterinarian give you a couple of medicines and instruct you on how to give these medicines in the event that happens. What happens is dog comes up on a snake, snake slithers through the woods, it, it captures your dog's attention, your dog goes over there and sniffs him, tries to pick him up, he bites him right in the face. Okay? When a snake bites a dog, there's a couple of things that happen. Number one, the area swells up. And when it swells up, it can cut off the air uh, and, and occlude the nasal passages, and therefore your dog can't breathe. And the ultimate outcome of that is not good. Okay? The second thing that happens is that lots of times these dogs become intensely painful okay snake bites are ridiculously painful oftentimes they're so painful it's hard to control it even with conventional medicine to control the pain okay so the ideal thing would be for you to go to your veterinarian and get a couple of medicines if number one medicine you need is some kind of an antibiotic pill okay and that antibiotic will decrease the infection that is going to set up. It's not going to stop it, but it's going to decrease it. The second thing you need is some kind of steroid, like a medicine called prednisone. That will help to decrease the inflammation. The third thing you need is some kind of pain medicine, either a non-steroidal like Remedil or Duramax, uh, and let your veterinarian instruct you on using those two medicines either together or separate. You're not typically supposed to use them together, but one time it's not going to hurt, especially in a situation like this. The other thing is they do make some antitoxin and antivenoms for certain snake bites. Okay, They are expensive propositions um, and they're, most veterinarians don't have them. Lots of times you got to get them through a human hospital. But carrying the appropriate medicines, if you're going to be somewhere far off, is well worth it because it could make the difference between saving your animal's life and not saving your dog's life, depending on the situation and depending on where you are. So, I hope that answers your question, Jeff. Thank you for your submission.